Planetary health is the international community coming together and saying, in fact, we can't have a healthy population without having a healthy planet. The whole idea of the Wellcome Trust, our planet, our health, is that if we improve the environment, we will also improve human health. We're inseparable from the environment. We, the more people are living in cities and more people will continue to live in cities. But our cities are not separable from the rest of the natural world. So we have to look after our cities and the rest of the natural world. RISE is a randomised controlled trial involving 12 settlements in Suva, Fiji and 12 in Makassar, Indonesia will be randomly choosing six settlements in each of the countries to undergo a water and sanitation upgrade in the first phase of the trial. For the next two years, we'll then be monitoring the impacts of this upgrade on the health of the environment and the health of the residents. After that, we'll be upgrading the other six settlements in each city. We'll be examining the impact in many different ways predominantly through survey data and through sampling. It's going to include taking water samples, soil samples, faecal samples from children, some blood samples, and also uh, some trapping or sampling of mosquitoes and rodents. especially kids under five years of age, since they're a very vulnerable group. Immune system is very weak at this stage of life. Uh, direct contact with black water and green water from the kitchen that are just flowing to openly into the open ground contributes to them having increased level of skin diseases such as scabies, uh, diarrhea, even ringworms and dani. And those are just a few examples, but there are many more. Like in Makassar, uh, many of our people uh, depend their water need to the to the well, the, uh, like bore well or dig well. Our water is uh, much contaminated uh, by, uh, you know, bad sanitation. The aim is to um, think about an intervention, a green engineering intervention, that will improve health outcomes for people living in informal settlements who don't have um, normal access to sanitation. They uh, are constructing natural based projects like uh, a wetland, building biofiltration garden, and also a sanitation system, which is uh, environmentally safe. So we have a very strong and committed relationship with the in-country teams. And we really appreciate that um, they have a lot of knowledge of working in these areas that we do not have. And so we're reliant on their local knowledge. We know that individual health uh, and uh, ability to have lead a healthy, uh, happy life that's free of these diseases, especially that which is related to uh, waterborne uh, diseases or uh, diseases related to sanitation and water. Uh, once we are free from that, we, it, it enhances productivity and it can get you to work and perform well in school and it does have greater implication not only for oneself, uh, many other benefits to the families, to the communities and to the nation as a whole. We are trying to actually build something that would actually not only help uh, the, the, the communities that are going to be the recipients of the project, it's actually trying to harmonise the environment. People's health and well-being, that is matched to ecological health, that is matched to elements of the urban design and the built environment. 
we're going to get a really great picture of how people are living their lives and interacting with each other and their environment. If we see changes in the environment and improvements in health, this will be um, a fantastic platform for rolling out this type of intervention into other areas. The overall aim of the program is to provide rigorous evidence that this radically new way of providing a cleaner environment to poor urban communities improves health and is feasible.